Hello workout friends, I'm Sharon and welcome to the club's virtual series. Today we're going to be doing um, a group of four exercises in four sets. So the four by four strength, abs, and cardio. You're going to need a set of weights and a mat. If you don't have weights, uh, bottles of water, uh, cans of vegetables, anything that you can hold on to that will give you some resistance. Uh, mat, if you don't have a mat, uh, a towel, something that uh, will give you a little bit of cushion. Okay, so let's get started and we'll do a little warm up. We're just going to bend and stretch and reach up and over, just waking up the arms and the legs, getting the heart rate up a little bit. All right, now we're just going to turn a little lower with the punch for the lower back. There you go. Thanks for joining me today. It's going to be a great day. All right, now we're going to bring that punch a little lower to the side. Lunge side to side, pushing those hips back. Good job. All right, now we're going to stand up and just step side to side. We don't do a lot of lateral movements during our regular day, so it's good to get those in in the warm-up and in your workout. All right, now we're just going to bring the arms up. Still just warming up. If you want to do a full jumping jack, ready for that, go right ahead. Mix it up a little bit. Higher intensity and lower intensity. Good job. All right, now we're just going to touch the heel in front. Still work, working on the, the hips, warming things up. And now we're going to touch the heel behind for the quads. There you go. You can feel that heart rate coming up a little bit. Now we're just going to bring the knees up in front. I'm going to add a little kick. You can do that. All right. Now we're just going to do some squats. Push those hips back. And stand up. Good work. All right. Come on up. Just roll those shoulders back. Open them up. And reverse. twist. Big inhale and exhale. Okay, so our first set is going to be biceps. So pick up your weights. We're going to do bicep curl. Those arms are just close to your rib cage, controlling those weights up and down. Good. Find a weight that gives you some challenge but also gives you good range of motion. And just keep a nice steady pace. Up and down. We'll do four more. Three, two, and one. Now just separate your feet about shoulder width. We're just gonna squat down, just like we did in the warm up. but now we have some weight added there. Perfect. You guys got it back and up. If squats give you trouble with your knees, just a little lower, uh, I mean a little higher than a lower squat. So you just don't want to bend down quite as far. All right, so now we're going to put that together. So we're going to do a bicep curl and a squat. So we're going to squat, bicep curl, and up. Down, bicep curl, and up. Got it. Controlling those weights up and down. Holding that squat. Pushing those hips back. One more. And up. Perfect. All right, now we're going to do some triceps. So the opposing muscle to the bicep is the tricep. So we're going to put one foot back. You can do both weights or just one weight. We're going to go down and up. So you reach those weights behind your head and lift. 
keeping those elbows facing me. Nice tall spine. Tummy's in tight. Down and up. There you go. Ooh. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now we're just going to come down and hold that lunge and little pulses. There you go. So kind of keeping the weight in the middle. Not all the way up, not all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. And good. Now we're going to do a kickback, which is the same muscle, the tricep. We're going to extend that leg back, elbows up, and bring them out and in. Little leg raise. If you don't want to raise the leg, Keep right here. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we got the other side. Elbows up. Keep that back. And raise the leg if you want. Just adds a little balance challenge. Hold that tummy in tight to support your back. Maintain your balance. Four, three, two, and one. And now we got that lunge back with the other foot. Weights up overhead, down and up. Elbows facing me. Nice work. Four more. Three, two, and one. Hold that lunge. Just those little pulses again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. All right, weights come down, and now you need your mat or a little cushion for your back. So we're gonna lay down here. do some bicycle crunches. So we're going to side to side. Bringing that knee in to the elbow and bringing that elbow down to the floor on each side. Head, neck, and shoulders are up. Tummy's pulled in. And breathe. Inhale and exhale. Five, Four, three, two, and one. All right. Little breather. Now we're going to hold a crunch, tap the knee, and down. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. There you go. And if that feels too easy, add that leg lift. Reach for that shin, up and down. Reach, reach. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. And now for the cardio part of this set, we're gonna do a jumping jack and a lunge. So let's do our jumping jacks first, up and down. If you wanted to keep these low, just step to the side. There you go. But we're going to try and do a full jumping jack. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're going to do a lunge and a punch. Lunge and punch. Good. This is a lower impact version. If you want to do a little bit higher, just a little hop in the middle. Use those arms, use those legs, getting that heart rate up. Three, two, one. All right, now we're going to put that together. Woo, breathe. So we got four, four jumpy jacks, four lunge and punch. I'll show you. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jacks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you're doing low impact, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Last set. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. All right, first set done. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. If you guys need it, go right ahead. You can take breaks anytime. All right, now grab your weights. We're going to do some upright rows. So upright rows, your palms are facing you. We're going to have the feet out to the side, right out in front. So we're going to squat down and reach up. If this bothers your knees, just a little push back with the hips. Good. All right, now we're just going to add a curtsy squat. So we're gonna go down and up. And this, if this bothers your knees or your hips, just stick with the regular squat. Here we go. Reach down, pull up. Reach down, pull up. There we go. A couple more each side. Last one. Good. Now we're gonna, just going to do a sumo stance. So your legs are, or your feet are pointing out about 45 degrees. Weights are in front again, sticking with the upright row. Down and up. So now the knees just come out to the side. And if the squats bother your knees, just do the rows. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're just going to hold right here. Just hold, lift up a heel, alternate heels up and down. Woo! You can feel it in those calves. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now just hold little pulses. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. And up. All right. So our second strength move will be for the shoulders. We're going to do forward raise, alternating. Just bring the weight up to the shoulder level and down. There you go. Nice and controlled movement. I'm going to control it up and control it down. All right. You guys got this. Of course, we need to add a little bit more so we're just going to do a butt kick in the back. So bring that heel towards the bottom. Reach, reach. There you go. A little bend in the elbow as you bring that foot up towards the butt. Good. Perfect. All right. Last five. We're going to try and do both arms together. One, two, three, four, five. I think you could do five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to do some abs. We're going to do them standing this time. Only one weight is needed for this one. All right. So we're going to bring the weight overhead, knee up and down. There you go. So you just want to bring that knee up and kind of tilt the hips forward. So you're crunching as you bring the weight down and your knee up. Crunch, crunch. Exhale. When you bring your knee up, inhale on the way up. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're going to work the obliques. Okay, we're going to bring the weight up. 
arm out to the side, lift that side leg up and raise the weight up overhead. So now you're crunching right here in the side. Squeeze, squeeze. There you go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we got the other side. Arm out to the side, arm up, lift that leg, bring that elbow to the hip. There you go, side crunches. Don't always have to do crunches on the floor. Very effective standing up as well. There we go. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, back to those standing forward crunches now. Just a few more of these. Let's do just one side. Knee up. A little bit of balance challenge is always good. Three, two, one. Now the other side. Just pick a spot on the floor. Just focus. Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, now your weight comes down. Now we have our cardio for this set. She's going to be high knees. Here we go. High knees as high as you can, or just march fast. Bringing those knees up, moving those arms. There you go. More high knees. Ten more seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Now we just have one more cardio. Football runs. So we're going to in, in, out, out. So you pretend you have those tires that the football players train with. You're bringing one foot in, one foot out. In, in, out, in, in, out. You can just do it. Lower impact. In, in, out, out. Or keep up the higher pace. Three, two, one. All right, now we got the other side to do. So lead with the other foot in, in, out, out. Lower impact. There we go. And if you want to speed it up, go right ahead. There we go. Use those arms. Three, two, one. All right. Two sets down. Good work, everybody. Third set. Anytime you need a break, go right ahead and take it. All right. We're going to do a reverse lunge with a uh, punch up. So we're going to lunge back, punch up, and come back. Lunge, punch. Lunge, punch. Here we go. We're working the lats on this. That's the side part of your back. Here we go. Lunge and punch. Good. Just punching up, lunging back. You can feel those muscles side of your back, working along with your legs. Again, if you don't want to that lunge, just reach, little squat, reach. Modify to your fitness level. Do what's more comfortable, but also gives you a challenge. All right, so that's it with the lunge. Reverse lunge and punch. Now we're just going to separate those feet, shoulder width. Just punch forward now. Punch, punch. So keep a bend in those elbows. 
so you don't want to go all the way out. Just keep it nice and centered. There we go. Jab, 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 jab. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're just going to cross, 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 cross. Work in the shoulders and the upper back, side of the back. There we go. Little punch side to side. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, staying with the back, we're going to do some rows. So you want to hinge forward at the hip, tummy's pulled in nice and tight, shoulders are relaxed, neck is relaxed. Just reach those elbows back and up and down, up and down. There you go. Squeezing, squeeze and lower down with control so you can feel those muscles constantly working. There we go. Lift and lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to come up. Now we're going to do a reverse fly. So reverse, pull back, and just cross in front a little bit. Pull up and down. Up and down. Squeeze. Again, pick a spot on the floor so you have a neutral spine and neck. You don't want to look down and you don't want to look way up. And control those elbows out to the side, up and down, up and down. Try not to swing. There we go. Four more. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, weights come down. Now we have our abs. Come to your mat. We're going to do a butterfly. So butterfly, I'm going to try and, there we go. I'm going to come onto your back. And the movement for your legs is going to be a scissor. So you're just going to be going, moving those legs up and down, just like that. Arms are out to your side. All right, so that's the movement for your legs. So we're going to do three scissors. One, two, three. Hold, and then reach up towards your calf. Come back down. One, two, three. Now the other leg, reach, and come down. One, two, three. Reach. One, two, three. Reach. You got it now. Up and down. Keeping that tummy pulled in. Exhale and inhale. There we go. Perfect. Breathe. One more each side. Last one. And up. Good. Just bring those knees in. Let your lower back relax for a second. All right. And we got our second exercise for the abs. Make yourself into an X. We're going to bring the right hand to the left leg and down. Left hand to the right leg and down. So you can lift your head, neck, and shoulders up as you reach for that leg or keep your head down and reach. There we go. And remember to breathe. Holding that tummy in. Four, three, Two and one. All right, come on up. Let me put my mic back on. So now we have jack squats. So you're going to move your mat out of the way. There we go. So we're going to go down and up, side to side. This is the lower impact version. There we go like that, or get that heart rate up a little bit more, reach down towards the floor, little hop in the middle. There we go. Bring that heart rate up. Five, four, three, two, and one.
one. Good. Okay. Three sets down. We are on our last set. Woo! Good work. Take a little time to wipe the sweat for a second. Good work. All right. Woo! Oh, we don't need weights for this. Yay! All right. You do you need your mat, though. So what we're going to do is called an inchworm. So inchworm, you want to stand up nice and tall, hips go back, hands come down. You're going to walk your hands out into a high plank, and then you're going to do a push-up, and then walk your hands back and stand up. Now if you come down, high plank, if you want to come down to your knees, then do your push-up. Then come back to a high plank and walk your hands back. There you go. That's an inchworm with a push-up. You got it. There we go. Come down on your knees or stay on your toes. There we go. I'm just going to turn, give you a side view so you know what we're doing. There we go. Reach out. Push up, up, and then a little bend in those knees when you come back up. Stand up straight, and then come back down. If you want to come to your knees, down, push up, back to your toes. A little bend, and come on up. One last one. There we go. Push up, and back. All right, now we're going to do some donkey kicks. So we're going to come back down, hands and knees. Okay, we're going to do the right leg first. So we're going to hands right underneath your shoulders, leg bend about 90 degrees. You're going to push the sole of your foot up to the ceiling. Then bring your knee in and push. In and push up. Try and keep your hips level to the floor. We go exhale and inhale reach and in there we go two more last one all right now we're going to keep that foot up just extend the foot out and pull it back in working those hamstrings and glutes there we go perfect in and out in and out all right now keep that leg straight Tap the foot on the floor and raise. Up and down. Again, try and keep those hips level to the floor. Four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're going to do a fire hydrant where you just bring that leg out to the side and in. Out to the side and in. Lift and lower. Lift way so you can see out to the side and in up and down good all right try not to lean too much to the left into that leg try and keep everything nice and centered all right now we're going to extend that leg back bring that knee towards the elbow so in and out in and out there we go Five, four, three, two, and one. Just stretch back for just a second or two to release that other side. All right, I'll turn this way. Now we got the other side to do. 90 degree bend in that foot or leg. So you're going to push up and down, up and down. There we go. Keeping that leg bent, just bringing the knee in, and then lifting the foot to the ceiling. There you go. Keep that head up. Keep the airway open. All right, now we're going to hold it up there. Just extend out straight and pull back in. Out and in. There we go. Hold that tummy in to support your back. Breathe. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Now keep the leg straight, tap the toe on the floor, and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're the fire hydrant. Hips are level to the floor. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Turn to the side here so you can see. There we go. Keeping those hips level. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Now extend that leg straight back. Pull the knee in towards the elbow. In and out. In and out. Good. And try and keep even on the knee. Don't want to lean too much to the side. Four more. Three, two, and one. And stretch back. Nicely done. All right. Now we got a plank. So we're going to come to a high plank and just hold it right here. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders. You want the hips up too high. You don't want the hips too low. Keep them right centered. Abs pulled in tight. All right, now put your left hand towards the center of the mat and then just twist to the side and hold your hand up high. If you want to bring that lower leg down, go right ahead or keep it up. There we go. And then come back to center and then bring your right hand in towards the mat. Flip and reach. There we go. And back down. And center. Come to your knees and stretch back. Breathe. There we go. All right. One last cardio. We're going to do some mountain climbers. So I'll show you here and I'll turn to the side. So mountain climbers, knees just come right in towards the chest. Go. This is a lower impact. Keep your chin up or you can speed it up. Knees in. There we go. Keep going. I'll show you from the side. That's a lower impact or higher impact. There we go. All you got is five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees come down and breathe. Good. All right. Now we got our cool down. We're going to do some kneeling stretches. So turn our mat this way. I'll do it this way so you can see. Okay, first just bring that right foot forward. Nice tall spine, shoulders are relaxed and back. Just lean forward. Keeping the chest up. Here we go. And breathe. Nice big inhale. And exhale. One more. And down. Bring those hands on either side of the foot. Come up on that toe. And then just hold it right there. One more stretch. Reach up. Look at the ceiling. And down. Knee down. Now heel down, toe up. Just push those hips back. Feel the nice stretch in the back of the leg, the hamstring, the calf, and the glute. There we go. And put both hands on the inside. Swing around and up nice and tall. There we go. I'll face this way for the side. All right, now left foot forward. Chest up, shoulders relaxed. Nice tall spine. Let's bring our hands together and push away. Tuck your chin in and reach up and behind, chest up, breathe. One more inhale. All right, now turn this way. Hands on either side of your foot. Come up on that toe and open up. Look at the ceiling window. Got a beautiful view here. 
and down and stretch back and bring that leg around downward facing dog just bring those hips up nice and high reach them up right to the ceiling head down to the floor and heels down to the ground and walk your hands and feet together slowly roll up and we're going to do a nice big inhale and exhale. Be proud of what you've just done. You did a great job. Your day will only get better. Uh, thanks so much for joining me and hope to see you soon. Bye.